Now look at this. A tender document, this uh, typical specification, and this is called bill of quantities. This is, I've shown two columns of specification. Um, there are more columns on the right hand side. That is called bill of quantities, right? Bill of quantities means what? Quantity, unit rate, and total cost. So when a designer is doing it, he gives a budgetary estimate of the project. So that is called bill of quantity. And when a construction engineer is completing the project, he has to check the material with the quantity and with the rate and finally verify the amount, what is payable to the contractor. So these are IP ratings. These are ratings regarding to its installation properties and current breakdown properties that you need not have to know that for the electrical engineer. Incomer means the feeders, the cables coming into the panel. The bus bar is defined as an incomer. It's not a cable, not a wire. It's an incomer. Incomer means it's a bus bar. Okay. One number, 2000 ampere. Three pole, there will be three pole, MDO. Sorry, this, this is not the bus bar. Incomer means the main incoming switch. My mistake. One number, 2000 ampere, three pole, MDO. I corrected myself self when I came to this word MDO. We all make mistakes. So we must also be able to do course collections. We all make mistakes. So what is the MDO? This alerted me. Well, I'm on the wrong track. This is incomer means the main incoming switch. MDO means mechanical draw. It's a huge, I had shown you the image of the ACB. It's a huge mechanical draw. You have to mechanically pull out the switch from the panel. We have EDO also. Electrically drop out, draw out, D R A W O U T out, draw out, draw means pull. Electrically also, where motor does the job because it's so heavy and it is not easy to push and pull. ACB means air circuit breaker. Breakers means the contact, the contact which permits the current to flow from in to out. ACB these contacts are in surrounded by an environment of air. If you have a context environment of air, there will be a sparking when contacts make and break. Normally when they break, there'll be sparking because, because, because there'll be a small air gap from the point to switch off to total switch off. So to overcome that, you also come across VCB, vacuum circuit breakers. Now this environment is in a vacuum, the box in the vacuum. So the sparking will not take place. And if it does take place, right, it will not damage the contact. Why? If you have sparking in the air, then what happens? Sparking generate, generates high temperature. And high temperature means you'll have the oxygen combining with the metal and creating carbon. So after some time, the contacts will carbonize. And when they carbonize, the contacts become weaker and weaker and resulting in more and more sparking. And the more the sparking, the higher the temperature. And then ultimately this contacts will melt or will get stuck up by, by, the, by the sort of a high temperature, will create a sort of a welding action. The contacts will stuck up. Even if you want my switch says go off, it will not go off because the contacts are stuck up. That is why when we have high current, instead of ACB, we go in for VCB, where it ensures that the sparking and carbonization does not take place. I hope I'm very clear on this. Then these are various microprocessor controls, ACB with built-in. These ACBs have a microprocessor, it's all electronically. O OC, SC, EF, these are all electrical terminology, but you need not have to worry. These are 
releases, means type of release. Now, then they have over trip setting that you do not have to worry about because that comes with the switch and the installer will take care of that. ACB with four and no four NC. Huh? This you should know. This you will come across. Four means normally open contact, normally close contacts. Then you have it LED trip. Even the ACB has tripped for overcurrent or for some electrical fault. If there is some electrical fault or some overcurrent, right, this microprocessor will switch off the ACB and the light will come off for that it has tripped. Trip means failure on account of some fault, some problem. Okay, then we come to the next slide. Cables. Cables is very simple to measure, linear lens. 3.5C means three and a half core, 400 square mm. This cable is 400 square mm, three and a half core. Then you come down here, 4C. 4C, there's no half core. All cores are the same size, 16 mm. That means this cable has four cores, each is 16 square mm. So this is what you need to, little bit, 